chat gtp i am sure you must have heard this term before this is something very very trending and getting popular these days in this video we will see if it can help you learn nx open from scratch so let's deep dive i have created my account on chat gtp let's see how it can help you so what i did simply i have asked this first question to chat gtp can you teach me nx open using visual basic dot net and it says yes i can help you get started with visual basic dot net in nx open it also gives me introduction about nx open programming that is an interface that allows to automate tasks in siemens nx software again it has given me few steps i can go and open visual studio create new project then uh, uh, create it as class library then i can add the references and then i can write this piece of code and i can run it so let's see if this works for me what i am going to do i am not going to do it in visual studio i will do it in nx itself using journal because this is something very quick to test the result of chat gtp so i'll just go and copy this code i will go inside my nx uh, software and then i will go to journal edit here i will simply paste that code and i will execute seems it has executed this code and there is no error so it's good right it has given me the piece of code that really works now here is the thing this is just a very simple example of a code that works in nx open but this code is not doing anything at all in your nx scan nothing so it is doing nothing it's just running this piece of code and that's it now it has given me that information as well it says that your code now running in x uh, in nx once you build it and then you can add more code to create custom functionality that this part we haven't yet done so this is just a basic example to get started really cool right so it has given me the introduction as well as sample code that i can paste myself great now what i did next i have asked something specific to create custom functionality out of the nx code nx open code so what i asked is how to create rectangle using visual basic dot net using nx open apis what i am doing here i am trying to be very specific so that i can get specific answers out of it so it has given me the code for that as well now it is time to uh, it is time to see if this code works for us let's say i just copy that code again do it here like this and i am going to execute this code oh it has not worked at all it means we are missing something let's see if chat gtp helps me to find out that missing stuff i am going to go i am going to write uh, read this everything that it has written uh, but it says that uh, this code creates new sketch on a work plane creates rectangle update sketch and part you can modify the size position etc this methods okay great but it has not mentioned anything else apart from the description of this code how i can execute this that part is this i see is missing so what i will do out of my 
common sense. I will go and create a new part and then once I have this blank part active, I will give another try. And let's give a try now. Oops, same thing again. It's not working as expected. Since there is a lot of thing we have to fix looking at this particular number of errors that we are getting. Now we can make an intermediate conclusion that we can definitely get start and ask few questions about NS Open to chat JTP and get some answer as well. But we cannot expect or we cannot rely on it 100% that it will give us 100% correct answer all the time. So here we can conclude in this particular video. I will come back with part number two of this topic in the next one soon. But if you have anything of your sort of experience out of using chat GTP, let me know in the comment box. Bye-bye for now.